All right, good morning, guys. Look at this. I'm over at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds in Middleburg Heights. And the first thing I saw when I walked up here is the Ohio Bicentennial uh, logo on the barn here. I honestly don't know if that's one of the actual barns that uh, that counts or not, <laughs> but I thought that was pretty interesting. So I keep talking about buying an RV, and I decided to come out here to this RV show today. What I'm going to do, I think, is film a handful of these just kind of walking around in them and showing what they look like, but I'll put those in separate videos. But uh, but I thought I would show you a couple of them anyways. All right guys, so I'm in a big Class A right now. A Class A is basically like a bus. Like here's the front seats. I don't know if I can see myself driving this thing. <laughs> Maybe, it's just so huge. And to me, honestly, it feels like a waste of space to have this big of like a cockpit here. It seems like a huge waste of space even though the space is nice. And there's definitely a ton of room in this big thing. Like, okay, look at this. This is like the living area here. Here's your kitchen. And back through here, here's the shower. Here's the bedroom back here. Has a ton of space, which is awesome, but it almost seems like not a very good use of that space. I mean, unless you just specifically want enough space to walk around and not be cramped. All right. Wow, these are some seriously deep cupboards here. Closets. Yeah, look at that. That's huge. Right, let's see what the actual bathroom looks like. Oh, nice. I mean, that's a lot of good room in there. Honestly, the Class A's are what I was really uh, excited to get a look at. And I'm finding that I don't like them half as much as I thought I would. This one, it has like a deck on it. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I like these travel trailers. And I love the fifth wheels. Like this over here is a fifth wheel. I gotta see what this one looks like inside. Right, this is a Catalina, Coachman Catalina Legacy Edition. Just gotta hope there's not 150 people in here. And there are, so we'll start here on the deck. That actually feels pretty good, it feels pretty stable. And it folds up into the wall here. Okay, forget it, just too many people in there. Which is what I'm finding now in the entire place, because it's getting later in the day. So the place is just like packed with people. All right guys, for two seconds there's nobody in this one. This is called a Jayco, day F Jayco J Flight. It's 29,000. Look at this place. Look at this. You got a little dinette over here. I love this. This is your little kitchen, but you got uh, island here, sitting area with theater, theater seating. That's really comfortable too. I sat in it. This pulls out to a bed. Big TV here. Little fireplace kind of thing on the bottom there. This place is, this place, this thing <laughs> is pretty awesome. This is a slide out here. This whole wall slides out and so does this one here. Slides kind of scare me because it's something else that could go wrong, but I mean, you can't just not do it because of that. This is a nice big bathroom. There you go. That's a decent sized shower too. A lot of these that are shaped like this, I actually fit in. <laughs> Passes through to the bedroom, which is right through here. Queen size bed. Yep, and there's where you can also just go into the bathroom. Pretty nice, 30 grand. All right guys, so this right here, this fifth wheel behind me here, Jayco Eagle, that is easily my favorite one I've seen in the entire place. 60,000, which honestly is not bad for this thing. Um, there's just too many people in and out of it right now for me to go in and, and talk about it while I'm in there. So I'm gonna make a separate video of that one as well and I will link it at the end so you can see it, but you can actually go and watch all of them. Uh, as soon as I have them all up. <laughs> but yeah, that is definitely my favorite one right there. And if I had to choose something today, it'd be that. All right, guys, I do wanna say this. 
these things are all made pretty cheap. Um, but the one place that they should really put a little bit more effort is the steps. The steps to almost every single one, they're so rickety, and these things are brand new. So, I mean, there are some that actually have, like, support under the steps, and those are a lot better. But, I mean, look, they just hang off, and you step up them, and it just feels like they're going to go, you know, and sink down. Of course, I'm a big old fatty. I'll tell you another thing. All I smell is french fries and ketchup. <laughs> I'm so hungry, and they have, like, half of the whole camp, or not campground, the half of the whole uh, place here, whatever you call it. I'm um, full of food. All right, look at this little trailer here. A wolf pup. Let's go check it out. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here. See, this is what I'm talking about with the steps. These are nice steps here. They actually feel solid. This is a pretty nice little setup for being such a small trailer. I mean, it definitely has just everything you need. This folds out to a bed. That's already a bed. It would be cool if this bed folded up, but I mean, I like it anyways. Let's check out the bathroom. Yeah, that's a pretty small bathroom here, but give it a shot here. It could work. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. But really, yeah, I mean, if you were traveling alone, I mean, I suppose you could travel with somebody else in here. It's big enough for that, but, you know, it, it would be kind of cramped. Let's look at this a minute. Oh, this is your cooktop. That's pretty nice. Tempered glass. I like this bowl. <laughs> it's huge. Good amount of storage there. But that and these two right here, which are actually pretty deep, Look to be pretty much the only storage in here, unless, hmm, I don't know if that's storage under there or not. It might be. There might be storage under here, too. Yeah, a little bit. Some cupboards back here. Oh, and here's the price. 16000 I don't know. I've seen better for that price, actually. That one's not too shabby for the small thing that it is. All right, we definitely got to check this little thing out, this teardrop, boondock light. I like this. Diamond plate. <laughs> I think it's fake. I think it's plastic. No, I guess not. Aluminum, maybe. Look at this thing. <laughs> it looks pretty small from out here, but I bet it's a lot bigger on the inside. Right, let's check it out. This is how it's laid out in here. New Camp Tab 320. Queen size bed in this little thing. Alright. Look at this little kitchen right here when you first step in. Get the job done. Okay, there's your queen size bed. It's not too shabby. Shower, toilet, all together. I don't even think I could fit in that door. <laughs> little TV. Sour and everything. I mean, you can make it work, you know? Mm -hmm. 26,000. And here's some good steps again. That's what I was talking about. Those actually fold right up into the door there. All right, guys, I just stepped into this one right here. Look at this. I love how this sink is, how it's almost like an island. It makes like a U shape. I love that. You could just stand right in here, cook at your stove, turn around to wash or whatever, do things over here, cut some veggies. Talk to whoever's sitting over there working on the computer. Kick back on the couch over here. Put something cool on the TV. <laughs> and I love this. Look, this is like a little extra room in here. Folds down to a bed. That would would fold down, of course, if you want somebody to sleep on it. But uh, there's room in there for a TV. And then you step up here. And look, we saw this in one of the other ones. A ladder, and here's a loft. If you were claustrophobic, that would never work, but that's like a full-size bed up there. And that's actually pretty soft. Here's a big bedroom back in here. This is at least a queen-size bed. Looks like you might even be able to make it a king-size if you wanted to. But there's a door over there that passes through. 
the bathroom here. And this is a nice, decent sized bathroom too. Nice big uh, shower there. Yep. And then here's where it passes through to the bathroom, I mean to the bedroom again. Pretty awesome. Look at this one, guys. This one also has the uh, the little deck on the back. I believe this is a a toy hauler, though. One that you can, you know, put a toy in. <laughs> Four-wheeler or something. Yeah. Yeah, you pull it right up into here. Motorcycles, whatever you want. These fold down to make a bed. This is your deck back here if you wanted to hang. Look at all these things. This place is just packed, man. But yeah. And it's that rubber diamond plate floor, so nothing would get damaged. Here's your kitchen. Up the steps. And here's your bedroom. And I like this. You see these in most of them. You got a door here for the bathroom, but you've also got a door for the bedroom. So here's your bathroom. That's that's a lot of space right there. That's one thing I've been looking at, and I know that sounds weird. But I've been looking at the showers to see how much room is in there and the pot. Because you want to have plenty of room to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and this is how much space you have in here. Of course, this is nothing I would ever buy. I don't have, like, you know, toys. <laughs> But, I mean, it's, it's cool, nonetheless. It's so easy to get lost over here. I don't even know which direction I came from. I think it was over here. All right, guys, I think I'm done. I'm tired. I think I've seen just about everything there is to see. There's a lot of different versions of these. Let's go in one more here. You hear that squeak? I don't like that. I want steps that I know are going to pick me up good. This is pretty cool. Look at this. A big selling point for me is a kitchen. I like a lot of counter space. I like to cook. What? The water's on? No, but somebody, some idiot poured their pop or something in there. People are so stupid. TV goes right here. Eh, that's kind of ugly to be honest with you. I don't like the looks of that. Here's the bathroom. Look at it. Look at this, they poured stuff in all these. Stupid. Here's some bunks. I like those, these are huge, man. And like I said before, if you could handle being in a small area like this, that's not gonna bother you. That's nice and cozy. Like a little hidey hole or a nest. Cute. But here's how the rest of this one looks from here. And we got, I believe, what's called a trundle bed. I actually pulled one of these down because the, the couch folds out flat. And then you can pull this down and it makes the whole bed. I pulled one down in one of these. I couldn't get it back up. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm whooped. And I'm getting hungry. A lot of these are absolutely beautiful. Some of them seem like overkill. Like the ceilings in some of them. They see like, seem like they're three feet too tall. But uh, a lot of these are pretty awesome. I got a lot of footage. A lot of people here. Okay, guys. Man, I am hot. I am tired. I'm hungry. Oh, and look. I found the birthday cake bash bang. Everybody was uh, sharing pictures of it. Zero carbs. Yeah, it's good to go. Let's give it a taste. Um, it smells pretty good. I don't care for it. Um, it's not horrible. It has kind of a, uh, a kind of a coconutty taste to it. Um, and I've noticed that a lot of things are supposed to taste like birthday cake, but with like the, not power bars, I can't think of the brand of them right offhand, but, uh, you know, the kinds of things I can have them, protein bars and that. They have that same taste. So they all have this idea of what the birthday cake tastes like, but they all got it wrong. Because <laughs> birthday cake is delicious, and this tastes nothing like a birthday cake to me. Ugh. I almost said I'm going to finish it, but I don't think so. 
<laughs> I just don't like it at all. I expected that I was gonna like the Class A's a lot more than I did. A Class A is like a big bus. I probably already said this in the video. Class A is like a big bus. I don't know, there's something about it I just I didn't really care for. I mean, of course I'd take one if somebody gave it to me free. While I'm comparing them and I'm going in and out of all these different kinds, the ones that I found I really liked were the fifth wheels and, uh, and the travel trailers. I could go either way with those. The fifth wheels, absolutely love, but they are enormous and would really require a big, expensive truck to pull. Um, travel trailer, some of those are just as big and beautiful. I, I think I could totally handle living in one of those. And you wouldn't have to pull it with a truck either. You could, you could pull it with a van. Um, you know, several different options there. So, a lot to think about, but it was definitely fun walking around in there today and, and filming a lot of those, just uh, hearing what other people had to say and, um, you know, looking at the variety firsthand. A lot of the furniture was a lot more comfortable than I expected it to be. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. I got to get my air on. I am burning up and I got to find something to eat. I am a hungry king of the world. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place. Storm Area 51. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.